updates here from Pop Turner speaking to Maria Jong about Avatar, The Last Airbender, which is streaming out worldwide on Netflix. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I mean, I have so many questions. I mean, I feel like this last couple of months has just been kind of nonstop. Does it feel like a roller coaster you can't get off of is a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's been a long time coming and and finally having the show out is just like the roller coaster just keeps going now. So it's it's been exciting. Yeah. It's never gonna be a not a weird feeling, right? You make this, it's really special for you, the cast and crew, and then you know, drops on Netflix and it's like out of your hands at that point, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, I want to know about the audition process. I mean, a lot of people kind of were so excited to see that you were cast as Suki. And I just curious, did you audition for Suki? Did you audition for a few other characters? Like, what was that like for you? I only auditioned for Suki, and of course it was Dummy Sides, the whole project was under a code name, and it was like, the sides were like, she's a daughter of an ROTC officer. <laughs> um, I did figure out that it, it was Suki. Yeah. I actually haven't seen the show prior uh, to auditioning since I grew up in China, where the show was just not as popular like and mm. and i've had a few friends uh, since i've moved here tell me to watch it and i remember like starting to watch it and being like oh this is so good like <laughs> i just kept watching it even though i had no idea if i was going to get the role but yeah i got the audition uh read for it i remember it was like very last minute too like i had to send it in the next day so i was like oh i hope this is good like i i was so glad to figure out that it was suki since yeah. there was one line that they left in that was very iconically suki <laughs> so sent that in uh heard back got a call back and then after that was the chem read with ian for Sokka suki dynamic <laughs> and uh yeah later on my my managers told me that i got it and, <laughs> and the rest was history absolutely <laughs> yeah, <this> is history. <laughs> every audition process is different that's why i love like asking that because I've, I've interviewed a lot of people like they know a lot about what they're auditioning for and then some people that know like nothing not even like yeah. Not even like they're not even giving kind of like code names or some hints sometimes. Like some people just like like it's like you're auditioning for, you know, a Rob Cobb. I hear your lines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was very secretive. Like I thought it was set in modern days and whatever. <laughs> like, well, I didn't think that because I I would just figure the sides were like, oh, okay. Do you I guess remember what like, the code name was? Like the 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 name of the the show was like on the script. Blue something. Okay. I can't even tell yeah. you, but it was like. <laughs> completely different <laughs> yeah. and, thank gosh i figured it out so yeah. i was like okay <laughs> speaking to the hunger games Battle of sombras and snake cast as well they also same thing with them like it was a code name but a lot of people were it's able to good. figure it out at one yeah. point <laughs> yeah. i think when it's huge like that like with so many people oh, just like to figure out what's fan base adaptations right there's gonna be hints here and there <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, that's amazing. Um, Yeah, you mentioned, you know, I do find it interesting because from a storytelling acting perspective, you know, these are characters in a, that we have seen before, right? You know, the the, mm. the the animated show on Nickelodeon, like you mentioned and everything. Yeah. Um, But at the end of the day, this is Avatar The Last Airbender live action on Netflix. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? There's going to be some similarities. There's going to be kind of, you know, doing it justice, all that. But I'm just curious yeah. what's that like kind of, diving into a world diving into a character where we have seen it before but at the same time we haven't seen it before if you know what i mean yeah no i think i mean no pressure <laughs> <laughs> it, it, going into such a beloved already like fan base i think there's a sense of comfort i think there's it's pressure but also it's like people already love the story so much and love the character so much i felt like i was just welcomed welcomed in no suki because everyone just loved suki so much yeah. and i happened to do an okay job at it so. hashtag fan uh, favorite <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's like kind of like writing off of the love that people already have of the original um no but it's great because as an actor like it's nice where i can work off of source material and and just studying like the the series but also the comic books the spin-offs and it, yeah it's it's yeah it's a dream come true i don't know it was a lot of pressure but i think like have seeing the show as also like you said like a standalone series that is going to only bring in even more fans that yes. have never seen the show like fans of bra like me who like didn't grow up watching yep. it but it's such a great story you just keep having reruns of it like every, people revisiting the old one because of the new live action um, so yeah, that's exciting. It's just opening new doors, new doors to all kinds of audiences. Well, it's a perfect, it's a perfect segue. I mean, Netflix, you know, you know, it's, you know, the show was available in over 90, 90 countries, which was yeah. crazy. And, you know, 
I'm sure there was some talk before. Like, every time a, a show drops on Netflix worldwide, there's like this, you know what's going to happen, but you don't know what's going to happen. But let's be honest, you know what's going to happen. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so what was it like kind of seeing that global kind of impact that Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix had, like two, three days into it? Like, it was, it was, it's crazy. And it's so quick on Netflix. Yes. Uh, I mean, we were, I think, top, like, the longest top one show. Like, I hope I'm not <laughs> citing this wrong, but it was top one up there in every country that Netflix is available at, which is wild to me. And I think, like, it really hit me when, like, they added icons for us. Like, yes. on Netflix, you can pick your own. And I could pick myself. <laughs> and I just remember, like, changing my own icon to myself and being like, wow. So is it still like, Suki? Is, is like... Suki still your icon? Yes. And it, won't, it probably will never change, ever. No, I mean, it's, uh, it's a little strange. I might change it to Momo because he's super cute. But <laughs> I don't know. for now, it's Suki. Until, like, it hits me where I'm like, okay, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, the fan base is huge. Like, all over the world and you know i i grew up in beijing and poland i'm getting fans from china like writing me in, in chinese and polish fans being like so proud that they have like some polish representation and uh, the the fan edits and the the drawings oh. the cosplays people like recreating the, her headpiece from the show i mean it's all just so heartwarming to see like just people loving it and just wanting to like uh, engage with it all so yeah it's, it's, it's crazy it's really <laughs> the quickness is something that i think is the craziest thing to me like i think mm -hmm. it's just like i mean has the show even like the show hasn't even been out Four or like five months, month. right? Yeah, it's been like a month, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't even been. It's been like a month. Yeah, and it's like. Yeah. I feel like it's been out for a long time. <laughs> I know. I know. It feels like both a very long time, and also like it just happened, and like oh my gosh, craziness now. <laughs> but I know that I know how much work you and the cast and crew put into this, so it it it's like the coolest thing to finally see the product. You know what I mean? Like I can't even imagine yeah. filming on it, but it's just like. A lot went into it, you know what I mean? And it's yeah, like people binge all these, into it. people yeah, just binge a couple it seconds. Like, yeah, people <laughs> binge it in like one sitting and they want the next season. And it's like, took yeah. a long time for you to film that season. <laughs> Yeah, movie magic. <laughs> you think yeah. it's like uh, an episode. I was there for like more than a month. Like, and then, then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I know. And, and you know what? We know, you know, um, Avatar, The Last Airbender is coming back for season two, season three. That's awesome. Yeah. Knock it off and <laughs> ask you. It's going to be awesome, awesome maybe to see more about Suki. You know, it's, it's, at, it's out of your hands right it. now at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything where their journey is going to take them. Yeah. If, I think it's just exciting. I'm excited to get back into it. Yep. I think we were all like, oh, we were rooting for the announcement <laughs> right after, and it happened so fast. So it's just been celebrating and, and congratulations. It. Sorry. And congratulations. Like it's, oh, thank it's you. Awesome. <laughs> but I feel like I those are misconceptions of actors too, right? One, it's like people think you know everything as an actor. No, <laughs> I don't. I saw my episode for the first time when it was released on Netflix. <laughs> Like, I just watched it with my friends, like, the same time everyone else watched it. Maybe people probably seen it before me because they were at midnight. I just watched it the next day because I was it like, It sounds okay. like you did a lot of research, though, before that. And, like, this is a very, like, powerful character. You mentioned, you know, an episode and everything. But was there, like, I, I know you try not to think about it, but, like, I'm not surprised. You know what I mean? The impact it had. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, yeah. like, were you, like, prepared or unprepared? Like, I'm just curious about that, like, once it dropped. Uh, like, I mean, it's always kind of nerve wracking yeah, seeing absolutely. yourself act. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I think it's like hard watching myself, like a lot of actors feel. Um, but I just remember the whole experience. I mean, we shot it like two and a half years ago. It was yeah. a long time ago. And I just had such a heartwarming, wholesome time. And like, it was just the best time. I was like, as much as you want to be critical of your work, like everyone puts so much love into it. It can't go 
that wrong <laughs> and you know just just taking it in. and and it was nice having a bit of distance from yeah. like how much time had passed because yes. i like forgot some things i did on set well, I was that's like, also oh. another mis that's another misconception too actors it's really like on to the next like you have one journey yeah. and then it's like what's the next journey <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> no it, it was a very wonderful moment finally seeing all that hard work i mean even in adr i remember like doing the the lines and like fight sounds whatever and and momo was still a little green blob <laughs> and i was like we have a long way to go but oh my gosh it's like coming together like so many people like you don't even and, like yeah. can't imagine how many little details go into every person on on a certain part of the work so yeah and you know what it's crazy because maria i remember even before you were you were announced that you were joining the cast like i remember mm -hmm. when the show was announced yeah <laughs> and now we're talking about it out and now it's getting a season two and season three like it's, yeah. this is wild to me like i i keep track of like when things are announced you know what i mean uh, and i just find it crazy yeah. and now we're talking about the show like <laughs> and it's out <laughs> And you'll notice, long time coming. <laughs> it's long time coming. You'll notice a lot of my questions. Like, I'm not really big into talking about plot things and everything because mm -hmm. go in fresh and watch Avatar The Last Airbender season one on Netflix. But <laughs> I'm just wondering from an acting storyteller perspective, in a lot of ways, you know, before filming and while filming and after filming, those are all different journeys from a storytelling acting perspective, Maria. But I'm wondering if you see them as kind of separate journeys because a lot happens in between and before you go to camera. But I'm wondering if you see them as kind of one big journey with multiple steps or do you see it as kind of multiple journeys from an acting storytelling perspective? I think one big journey with yeah. multiple steps. I mean, yeah. even just like starting from auditioning and then prepping for the character, stunt training, being on set and then leaving everything and waiting. The waiting was really long <laughs> and <laughs> going into ADR and, you know, all that. And especially now that we got announced for two and three, like it just feels like, you know, now we're off to the next step. Um, yeah, I would say. Yeah. Absolutely. Part of a whole journey, but different steps. <laughs> I've been getting lately, lately, everyone's just been saying that's like a question I all, like I ask a lot on the show, but like mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people are just like, it's one journey with multiple steps, and then it's kind of like, okay, yeah. cool. But like <laughs> sometimes I've been getting some people feel because I just feel like, you know, before you went to camera as Suki, like I just yeah. feel like I, there's so many things that happened that were like not related to like filming it, if you know what I mean, right? Like yeah. the preparation. Yeah. So like, I always wondered if it like felt like kind of like journey one, journey two, you know what I mean? But it does, but it's all mm. the same end game, end goal. If it, same like, end goal. Yeah. And even the preparation for it before you actually show up on set, like yeah. all of that is just all bleeds together. I think it would be difficult if, if I separated it and on set, I'm like, okay, now I am Suki instead of like <laughs> prepping for it as I, yeah. you know, go through stunt training, all that. Yeah. Uh, I was, yeah. And the answer <laughs> to this question might be, it most likely might be no, because I feel like actors are in the zone. They kind of focus on it. But I'm just wondering, are you ever conscious of the uh, of the audience watching Avatar The Last Airbender while you're making it? Or is that something that, like, does not even cross your mind and something that kind of happens after you wrap? Like, I'm just curious about that. I think... You try your best not to think about that. <laughs> I think, honestly, your job as an actor most of the time is just getting rid of that voice in your head that feels like you're performing. You don't ever want to feel like you're showing some kind of a character instead of just being alive and, yeah. and doing the best ability to present represent that person. But um, no, I think for a huge show like this, it's it's it was very kind of easy to let that seep into your head. And I mean, just like from the excitement, like being on set, like seeing Kyoshi Island, I was like, oh, it looks like <laughs> in the cartoon, like we're seeing the dojo room where, where um, Saka and Suki fight. Like, I was like, that looks like the scene. <laughs> and, but, but then I got to be like, Stay, take a step. Okay, just like let that go. And I think when it came to performance, I um, tried my best just to like, Set, try not to come you know because I, I as much as you know the, i was already cast so i'm hoping that part of who i am would bring the character out naturally so adding my own experiences into it and and i've done the work of prepping for it knowing suki but also just like trying to bring my own spin to it if that 100%. makes sense <laughs> and that kind of goes back to my first question right where it's like we've seen suki before right but you know, this is, this is, this is the live action anime, yeah, like, non -anime. Like it's, it's yeah. so interesting <laughs> to think about. And 
you know, last question before we wrap up, super quick. Any fun BTS stories, any fun set stories that you can kind of share specifically? Uh, fun set story. Oh, my gosh. We were hanging out outside. <laughs> I'm so much fun. I think um, I had a little uh, Funko Suki doll, <laughs> and I kind of hit her around set <laughs> trying to see if people would find her. And I created a little, like, Instagram story like series of Suki's Lost Days if you know the original Alpha's Lost Days episode <laughs> so that was silly and fun I think we all had like little like toy versions or or like Funko versions of ourselves we're like wow that's crazy that's that's us yeah, uh, yeah it was a little silly it was such a fun set everyone was joking around and having fun so yeah lots of, lots of fun memories absolutely <laughs> I'm so happy for you and the cast and the crew and you know season two and three we'll will come to Netflix when they come to Netflix. They can watch season one of Avatar The Last Airbender now on Netflix. Marie, so great chatting with you. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yeah, so very quickly, your Instagram account is where people can keep up to date with things if they want to keep up to date, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it's it just... Maria yeah. X Zang, Z Zhang, Z A J N G. <laughs> okay, perfect. And again, they can catch you with Suki in Avatar The Last Airbender season one on Netflix which is awesome. Again, thank you so much. Uh, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Maria Jong. We can catch us Suki in Avatar The Last Airbender, streaming now on Netflix and PD Beats. Signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.